back to the channel i am samantha and i am the lux wife and welcome back to another amazing home video a few weeks ago i posted a kitchen small how to style how to organize video if you are new here and you have not had the opportunity to check that video out by all means go ahead i have it linked for you guys to go ahead and check it out okay now in that video i talked about two particular areas in my home in my kitchen that needs a little bit of an upgrade just to make it feel you know just add an extra emphasis on it so that's what we are doing today I have an empty space over my island as well as an empty space on the back wall and we are going to take care of that today and then one extra thing at the end of today's video I will be answering some questions I have gotten asked a lot over the course of that video being released it's just a few questions and I want to take care of that for you guys today so without further ado if you are not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button because baby you love it over here and let's get into today's video now a really quick just to give in a quick overview in that video where I style my kitchen my organize my kitchen I show to you guys that I only have two upper cabinets yes two upper cabinets one where I have my pantry organization in and then the others where I have my dishware in the cabinet and honestly I've gotten everything in it that I need to get in it now just the space off to the side which I'm about to show you this particular space here is the space that I was referring to over my island I will insert pictures of inspo that I wanted to do with this space but I just haven't really had the opportunity to do but now I do so I love the idea of floating shelves if you guys have watched my bathroom organization or transformation or upgrade I actually incorporated some floating shelves in today's project yes I have those same exact of floating shelves that I am going to implement here and I'm going to style them I kind of have like my inspo as you see inserted of what I would love to have for the space but of course when it comes to styling and your home and your aesthetic everybody's is different but the most important thing is to ensure that when you have floating shelves in the kitchen that it just ultimately is an extension of the kitchen so make sure you have things on your floating shelves that you would use in your kitchen I know that makes sense that makes all the sense I have two boxes full of kitchen decor that I want to obviously style it now most of the pieces that I did have I do have either came from three places Amazon Ross or Burlington but of course wherever I can find something similar I will link it for you guys so that way you'll be able to have availability to it if you desire to do so for your space but the most important thing is to basically see the styling give you an idea of something you can do in your kitchen whether you have a small space so whether you have a larger space and it looks nice okay and then on the back wall here as you see it is a empty space and in that empty space of course I need to get some pictures up I don't want to put anything that would obstruct opening the refrigerator door or opening the pantry door because you just don't want to have anything knocking over or falling over so something as simple small unique it's all you need especially when it comes to a kitchen okay and then lastly the very last thing which I failed to mention is I do have some lighting I talked about in my kitchen video that my pantry there is no lighting in there so we're gonna get some lighting in there some under cabinet lighting in here and baby that's it okay so let's go ahead let's get the man of the hour down here so that way he can go ahead and get these shelves up for us and yes I'm gonna try not to do too much talking so you can kind of see how things go into place but most importantly you'll see the stuff that I have okay so let's go So while he's getting the measurements for hanging up the pictures, I just want to show you what these pictures look like. I think they're actually very, very, very beautiful. Just with a hint of blue and white, off-white, and a hint of gold. I think it's so, so pretty. One thing I do want to know, when I posted my kitchen video, I had a simple white vase and a 
glass dish to hold my fruit on but i have since upgraded that i'm going to insert so you guys can kind of see what it actually looks like now it looks a little bit more prettier a little bit more elevated if you ask me because it just fits the overall space better i got these two uh vases from ross the larger one was $16.99 and the smaller one was around $12 or $14.99 the marble tray was $5.99. I know, girl. I know. Like, what, Sam? Yeah, I know. $5.99. And then the candle also came from Ross for about 8 bucks. And then the reed diffuser is a reed diffuser from Amazon. I will link it if you guys would love to check it out. It smells really, really, really nice. Really, really, really soft. It's just, it just smells very clean when we come into the kitchen. So I love that. And I love, once again, how it kind of like fills up the space better because it is larger. And the flowers in inside of the vase as you see are blue so that's why i am incorporating this blue again these are repurposed i've had these for a long time um i would not have bought new jars but i had really large ginger jars i'm pretty sure you've seen some before i'll insert a picture so you can see the type of ginger jars i have before which is my kitchen that it is but i had these really large beautiful ginger jars but unfortunately during the move they were broken so yeah here we are um. one is up simple and easy it's a little cricket but we'll fix it we'll fix it you know we got command strips to make anything perfect but what is up? Let's get the other one. Okay, so as you see, they are up. I think they look so, so good. They came in a two pack, which is of course why they look identical or pretty much identical. They're not identical. They're not quite identical, but they look the same. But they came in a two pack from Burlington for about $14 years ago so i think it looks good it just complements and just add an extra little to the space it makes it look so so clean and so so pulled together i wish i would have had maybe like a motion sensor picture light or something hanging over it but for the most part this is it this looks so good now you can opt for two pictures or maybe one large oversized picture in this space if you have like a small space and you're trying to figure out how to like pull it together it's always an option so either two or one and but you have to go bigger okay fill the space fill the wall because it makes the space feel bigger and i feel like honestly i probably could have went a little bit bigger on these pictures if i do and maybe down the line on some type of home decor update type of video but for now, I think they look so good. And remember, we're saving our coins. We're repurposing things that we already have around the home that will look good in a different space. So let's move on to the next project, which is going to be the floating shelves, which is the most exciting, if you ask me. Now, again, the idea is to have this floating shelves at a good amount of space up. I have two of them, so one here and then another one raised, and you guys will get to see how it gets styled. I think it just looks so good. Now this is the this is the fun project. This is the one I've been waiting to do. Again, of course, you guys know my kitchen cabinets are brown, so I went with the same color brown once again that are in my bathroom because it just basically folds and it just ties together so well without me having to do too much. These were purchased at Lowe's, but I will re link the same ones that i have before same ones i found on amazon that are 100 percent similar again if you have a white kitchen you can either go with white or like a lighter oak color for your kitchen or even a gray or a black you just have more versatility when you have a white kitchen but if you have a darker kitchen like me it's kind of best to stay on a trend and what will look together nicely and what goes on it would be lighter objects so if you have white floating shelves you can do darker objects but since you have a darker floating shelves, you want to do your lighter colors, your silvers, your golds, your whites, instead of something like a black. But let's go. This is a small box of things that I have that are going to go on the floating shelves. You guys saw earlier the big old box that I had 
if you are obviously of course subscribed to me here on youtube i did post on my community tab some home decor items that i have purchased for this project so if you are not paying attention some of you guys are and i love that for me and for you you get to see some of the things that um i am doing some of the projects that i am doing or filming prior to it getting released and this is 100 percent everything okay everything just like the video my bathroom all of the tools come everything come necessary to put these photo shelves together so that's the best part you don't have to go out and buy anything additional to get these photo shelves up on the wall they basically say that they can hold about 17 pounds which is good i'm not even putting anything over it worth of five pounds okay and um yeah this one is 24 inches long it looks longer i don't know why but baby it's 24 inches and yeah i think that's just the height this is about the height that i want the first shelf on and then uh, obviously the next one will go about 12 inches higher but keep in mind and make sure that when you add your floating shelves and the decor that it is an extension to the kitchen okay an extension to the kitchen Okay, so the floating shelves are up. You see how good like it just looks? Again, they're 24 inches long. I want to say they're 10 inches. They come out 10 inches wide and the depth is just about 2 inches and I just think it looks so good. It looks like the it looks like an extension onto the kitchen considering obviously of course this is the kitchen space and i want to point something out and note something to you sometimes when you get floating shelves they kind of kick up a little bit but don't worry yourself because i don't want to hear you say samantha ain't tell me it wasn't gonna be perfect sometimes it does not come out perfect baby it is man-made okay i am not perfect but when you start to put your things on it it's going to have some weight to it and it's going to drop it down some so it's it's going to be perfectly fine as you see it's four nails holding up as well as the fasteners and you also see where he went underneath and screwed it um to the bar so it does not move you don't have to worry about it moving or anything like that it doesn't come out too far so that you don't have to worry about you bumping your head like it's a good distance from my sink and regardless of where you put it obviously it's going to be higher than children there's not this is not something you have low on the floor unless i just got a good idea what if you have something low like this on the floor to put your dog food and stuff on it if you have a dog this is a good idea this is a good idea but now let's get to styling so these two huge boxes okay when i say huge huge boxes I am probably going to style the top shelf first just to kind of play with it um and let's go through and i'll show you some of the things i have i love styling with cutting boards just because cutting boards it's just i don't know it just gives it that extra umph um design element i do have other cutting boards in my kitchen beside my stove as you guys have seen but on this one i'm also going to put it on this top shelf because i wanted to give the shelf a little bit more height as you see i still feel like it's a good distance from the ceiling okay 
and to combat that now some people could probably put a third one floating shelf up here but to be honest with you you would not be able to reach it it would legit just be decor purposes only and guess what we, 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 we ain't doing that, okay? We ain't doing that. But I wanted to give it a little bit of height. So I know this is going to give it the height that I want. To. If you wanted something to go with over it, I would probably recommend do something like a clock or something kitchen purposes that you would have. But this is going to turn out good. So let's go ahead and start styling the. I also got this flower, which I think is so pretty. It is a faux plant. I love plants, but baby. I gotta keep my husband alive, I gotta keep my kids alive, I gotta keep my dog alive, I gotta keep me alive. So until I can have a better balance, we faux planting it, okay? We we just we just using faux plants. This one came from Burlington for $7.99. As you guys can see, these type of plants are everywhere from Walmart to Target to Amazon. I just love this one. So the greenery of this on this shelf, I'm just gonna put some color and contrast into the space. So Let's go ahead, style the shelf, the first shelf, and then I will commence the talking when I finish. Okay, so you see the top shelf? It just looks so good and so simple. I added these little white bows, which I showed you. The bows came from Burlington on clear and smart down for $6.39. I don't have any small white bows, so I didn't think it was like an unnecessary purchase. It was like, okay, this is a good purchase and uh, it's inexpensive, so I got that. Now these salt and pepper shakers, I have been wanting some uh, acai wood, um salt and pepper shakers for a long time target does have some that i am incredibly in love with but they're about 15 dollars each one however i found a set of two from ross for 13.99 it's legit the same height same concept same idea it's just a darker tone of brown but i think it just looks so good even with the mixed textures and colors on the top shelf and again you guys saw the cutting boards as well as the faux plant but it just looks so good now i'm on to the second shelf i have a few things just to add here i do have some wine glasses now if you ask me if i have wine glasses i'm pretty sure i have wine glasses somewhere still packed up okay i'm pretty sure i do however I don't necessarily want to have the most maximum amount of space that I can include them in. So I picked up some that was super easy and super affordable since I saw them. They were from Burlington and marked down $5.99. $5.99 for four. So I didn't, I didn't obviously spend too much money for something like this, but I thought this was such a nice element and to add to it. Keep in mind, everything does not have to be the same. You don't have to use all wood or all glass or all gold or all silver. You can mix and match textures, colors, and it looks good as you can see. So, so simple, but so, so, so elevated. So now I'm gonna kind of play with the bottom shelf. I did, as you see, put some cookbooks that I've always had. I'll just put them here for easy access. And then I have a few other things, a few other things that I have to go on this shelf. And I just think it's going to tie together so well. So let's get back to it.
Okay, so you see I am almost finished styling this second shelf. As I put the last few pieces on here, I want to show you guys just the last few things I got. They're already open because, baby, I'll tell you why. Um, except this frother, this hasn't been uh, opened. Um, it's gold. I wanted to add more gold onto the shelf. I definitely wanted some gold elements. Um, so this is just something that's gold that I think will look pretty on here. Last two things is I have teaspoons and I have an acrylic box that is acrylic and gold. You see the edges are like this beautiful gold. This was from Amazon, I think for like $4.99, $5.99, somewhere up in there. So I put my teas in here because, baby, it's just that time of the year, okay? It's that time of the year where it's time to get some tea into our system, wine down. The weather is changing. It's not changing in here in Texas yet, but you get what I'm saying. Cooler mornings. So some tea is also good. Um, so I'm gonna set the tea here on the edge. I don't really like the bottom of the orange tea bags. So I'm gonna kind of turn it this way. Super cute. These are the spoons that I got. They are gold teaspoons. And I'm just gonna take them the little jar that I showed you guys, um, I'm gonna take and put these gold spoons in here just to look, give a little bit more of gold elements. And that's it. But as you see so far, like it looks so, so good. It's no need of holding on to this paper. I might as well put them all in here. This was from Amazon. You got 12 for like $6.99 or $7.99. So that's good. Whether you drink tea or coffee, I like these spoons. I just think it's so good. If you're adding stuff to flavor your coffee or tea, it's just, you know, you can use a regular spoon. But this is longer, so you don't have to worry about if the liquid pops back on your skin. So... And guys, for the most part, that's it. I think it looks so, so good. This is just a very, very, very inexpensive upgrade to the space. It looks like, once again, an extension onto the kitchen because I have all of my kitchen elements in here, things that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. And I just think it looks so, so good, so polished. I do have one other thing that I'm probably, not probably, I'm going to have to take back to the store. If you don't need something, please take it back. Don't hold on to it trying to figure out where it's going to go, okay? But I have my teas, my teaspoon and stuff like that. This past week, I have been under the weather. So I don't know if you kind of hear the congestion in my nasal area, but it's there. But I've been drinking my teas to kind of, you know, mellow myself out. And I just think the shelf looks good. Like, you can't tell me this doesn't look good in a super inexpensive way. Obviously, if you have an area that accommodates a longer shelf, I would go longer. Mine's only accommodate for about a 24 to 30 inch shelf and 24 was just the best option um, that was given. But most of the stuff and all of this stuff here, everything was under $10 each. Okay, so I didn't have to spend a lot of money to achieve this look. And it elevates the kitchen. You know, when someone comes into the space, they don't have to look at it and like, okay, it's kind of plain. But no, no, girl, it looks good. But I, I love doing stuff like this. And I hope you guys can agree to like, Sam, you're doing a really great job with it. Normally, I would style it and then I would come and explain to you guys what I did. But I like the different heights, the different colors, the green here, the green there. I just love it. So... Apartment complexes, if y'all need me to stage, you know, the apartment you're trying to show, I got you. I got you, okay? I got you. So, that's that. Comment down below if you're definitely going to implement something like this or if I gave you a good, a great idea of something you can use because this is so good. This is so so good okay this looks like this was built in and it came with the townhome but baby i did that no we did that the very last thing that i want to do in here before i answer some questions that i've recently got on my kitchen video is i do not have like undermounting lighting of my cabinet and as well as in my pantry it's pretty dark if you ask me like it's super dark in my pantry and i don't have any light so i have these motion sensor lights that are these motion sensor lights that obviously are going to come on once the door comes on it has two different brightness on it but this is it 
It comes in a pack of six. I'm gonna use four in the pantry and then the other two, I'm gonna put underneath my two cabinets so that way if I'm walking into the kitchen and I need a little bit of a light, especially at night, I got one. You don't have to purchase batteries for this because these are rechargeable, so that's good. So if you have any space in your home that could use lighting without you having to pay for it, baby, these motion sensor lights are the best thing. You can recharge when you need to recharge them, and that's just that. So let's go ahead and get these done. This is my pantry space, and as you see, there's no lighting in here. The great thing I love about this is if it's in a bright light setting, even though it's motion sensor, it's not gonna come on because it detects light in the area. As soon as it's dark, dim, it's 100% gonna come on. I'm thinking about either putting it there or maybe in the corner, but I think right here in the center, is better so when i open the door it just comes on and yeah but i just think this looks so good so clean so if you got a coat closet no lighting these are good i could also put it on the side but i like it better lighting down on my on my food Okay, so, so far he has two of them up here and you just saw the lights go off. So I know I'm already gonna love it. One thing that I did not mention, well, I kind of mentioned that they are rechargeable. So they do come with two chargers for you to obviously just charge away um, when they need to be charged. That's so good. And also, also it comes within a remote. So if you have, I, I know I have a, um, what's it called? A, uh, brain fart i have some command strips and i can just easily just put it on the door and if i need to like have the lights on for an extended amount of time i can just use the remote and have them on for an extended amount of time especially like when i'm done grocery shopping or something like that but yes you guys will love it the, the remote is super lightweight so you better be able to keep up with it okay i'm telling you that now but so far so good i'm loving it i'll put one up here i'm hoping i'm hoping that when it goes up here it will detect the motion from the door and then um, one more underneath the third cabinet and i think we'll be good to go and then you guys will see me put two one each underneath the kitchen cabinet so guys, as you see, the lighting has been added to the pantry. I think it just looks so, so good. And it adds a little bit of an extra, you know, upgrade, extra touch to the space. Like I say, it is motion sensor. It does detect bright light. So in the morning when it's super bright in here and all of the other lights are on, they won't come on. So you don't have to worry about the battery getting drained. Also, it comes with a remote. And again, they are rechargeable. So you just take them down, charge them, and just put them back up. It's magnetic. So... It's magnetic, so as you see, you can just take them down and it catches it, it pulls it, and bam, voila, it's done. I mean, I, you, you can't get no simple than this. You guys saw me add the LED light last week around my mirror, and look at these pug lights, they just look so good, and it just add an extra bit of, you know, if you can't see when you're coming in the pantry, I got you. And if it was a light, you wouldn't have to worry about cutting the light on because there is extra lighting here. Now, the other two lighting I did add up underneath my cabinets just because I thought it was just a nice, a nice elevated, simple touch because I had two extra ones. I only used a four in the pantry. And so since I had the two extra, I went ahead and put them underneath here. Now, the best thing about this is it has two separate settings. So if you are using one, one place and one, the other place. So I have four of the lights the puck lights in my pantry they are on setting group two and then i have the other two on setting group one underneath my cabinet if you see here one says group one and the other says group two so group two is my pantry group one is my kitchen under mount light and on the remote it has group one and group two and just press it. Group one will come on. If you were trying to just cut these on, if you were just trying to cut group two on, group two will come on. They won't all come on at the same time. So that, that in itself is a plus. I'm super impressed with these lights. Like I have them linked below if you guys want to check it out. Now, the last two things that I added to the space that were super inexpensive. And if you are looking for something like this or the little pops in your kitchen where everything is pretty much tied together, 
this is the little pops. So the first thing is this paper towel holder. It is gold, but it's so pretty. It is heavy duty. So you don't have to worry about when you're pulling your paper towel off that this is knocking over. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I do have a silver one. And every time you pull a paper towel, baby, it comes tumbling over and I cannot stand it. It makes me so upset. But this one, I purchased this from Burlington. It was $5.99 and I just think it's just so gorgeous. I'm just gonna add it underneath my floating shelf area. So it's pretty much out of the way. It's not obstructing anything else in the kitchen. And then the very last thing that I got is this. I already have one in my kitchen on my sink for like when I wash the dishes and my dishes are drying but I have it in silver, which I picked up from Amazon. Now, while I was picking up all this other stuff from Burlington, I came across this gold one and I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're coming home with me because it just looks good. Now, this one isn't as wide as my silver one. And honestly, I like it better that way because when things drop into my sink, the silver one is so wide, I kind of have to move the whole thing out of, out of the way to get what drops in my sink. But this one, I don't have to do that. I don't have to do it. But it's so pretty and I love this gold. Like I say, it just ties in the little spaces so well. So guys, we have made it to the end of today's video. At this moment, I do want to take a time to answer a few questions that I got on my video uploaded when I did my kitchen um, makeover. So the first question was, my canisters in my cabinet, do they hold full size? Yes. I, as you guys see, I have from sugar to flour to pasta, etc., all in here and they hold a full size, okay? And some of them hold two. So for example, my elbow macaroni noodles, that holds two boxes because they were worried that if they decide to do the same thing in their space, that honestly, that it wouldn't hold everything and they would have to find somewhere to basically store what's left over. But in this case, the canisters hold a full bag of sugar, a full bag of flour. So those are some things to keep in mind. So that's what I love about that. The second thing was, as someone asked, basically, where do I store my canned goods? Now I'm gonna be completely honest with you, and I said it in the last video, we don't really do canned goods. I mean, maybe fruit in a can, some fruit peaches or something like that from time to time. But for the most part, when it comes to like a vegetables, we don't eat them out of the can. Not that we can't or we don't, we just prefer to eat fresh vegetables and there is no taste like a fresh green bean, fresh corn. It's just, you can't compete with the freshness of that taste. So honestly, I don't have canned goods. Now, in the event of emergencies, if they're concerned about that, then when that time comes, I'll get whatever I need to get to store in here. But I just don't want to hoard food and it expires and things of that sort unnecessarily. So for the most part, no, I do not use canned goods. We do not use canned goods our vegetables from green beans, like I said, corn. Um, they're all fresh vegetables. And I also got a question regarding the fact like, what if you have a larger space and you have a china that's precious, but you don't want to store it in your kitchen? Well, honestly, my personal opinion, if you have a beautiful eat-in area somewhere where you can house like maybe a small cabinet or small buffet, I would implement having that into the space because at that point you are able to put your precious china in those spaces and not have to worry about it interfering with anything else when it comes to your dishes. Now, I was rolling into that someone asked was this all of my dishes yes this is 95% all of my dishes because if I'm being honest our kitchen like I said before it was a larger size kitchen however this is what I had and this is what I use I didn't need more if I have family setting or family gatherings or people come over baby let's be honest unless it's a special special holiday um, we gonna get some, we're going to get some paper plates. We're we just gonna be honest, okay? We're just gonna be honest. We're going to get some paper plates because that's just what makes sense and nobody has time to be washing all of those dishes, okay? It's enough on a day-to-day -day basis. So, yes, but for the most part, again, that is all I have. If you enjoyed today's video, let me know in the comments that you 100% enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed filming for you guys. I have quite a few, not quite a few. I have a lot more 
home things working on for you guys and for the most part this space looks good this space is pretty much complete um and so i just i just love it and i hope you gain something from it that way you can be able to implement it in your space like i say i want you to be able to see where your money is okay Are we see it in our food but we need to be able to see it somewhere else clothes is nice shoes is nice but Taking care of home sets the tone for everything. And I'm not just talking about materialistically taking care of home, taking care of you, taking care of your spouse, taking care of your children. It's the most important thing. And then we level life after that, okay? We take care of the house, we take care of the car, and et cetera, et cetera. So, but guys, that's it. I really, really, really do hope you enjoy. I know you enjoyed. I know y'all enjoyed today's video because I know y'all probably like, Samantha, how you keep coming up with these gems? I don't know y'all, but when I can't sleep at night, I'm coming up with something and I'm like, ooh, I think that'll be a great idea. I think that would be a nice idea, okay? But guys, thank you so much for supporting me all this time and so forth and going forth because let us go forth and let us be great. <laughs> but until next time, until the next home video, I will see you guys later. Bye.